I'm Bernadette. I'm a fair trade banana. Can you help us tip the balance so there are more of us fair trade banana? Hi Bernadette, I'm Carlos. What's a fair trade banana? Is that some kind of charity for bananas? Oh no, fair trade isn't about charity. It's about changing the way companies trade with producers in developing countries. Come here and I'll show you how it works. Oh. This is where most of us bananas come from. Big plantations, like this one. They're often owned by massive companies in rich countries where most of the money ends up. Don't you know that the workers on these plantations have to work really long hours and they get very little money for all their hard work? Look how that plane is spraying chemicals everywhere. Yeah, that's to protect us from those horrible bugs. Yes, but the workers are still down there. Those chemicals can cause really serious health problems for them and the people who live near the plantations, including the children. I never thought about that. And those blue bags, they have chemicals in them too, don't they? Yes, and the used bags are often just dumped anywhere. Look at the unhealthy conditions people sometimes have to work in. Uh. What about farmers who work their own family farms? Surely they must be better off. They have their own problems. They have to take whatever price the companies give them. Sometimes it's not enough to cover their basic needs or even the cost of growing us bananas. If they don't accept the price they're offered, the company will just go to another farm where they could pay less. Ah, oh, that's tough. Does this mean that farmers are never paid a fair price? They can be, but that's where producer organisations come in. Producer what? Normally, the big companies can force the price down for small-scale farmers. But if the farmers get together in what's called a cooperative, they can negotiate a better price. Ah, cooperation instead of competition. Exactly. Now you're getting it. So, where does fair trade come in? Fair trade means that the companies agree to pay a fair price, plus an extra amount called a fair trade premium. This money is used to build schools or health clinics or to spend on improving their farms. That sounds great. But what about all the fair trade plantation workers? They get better working conditions and they have their own organisations where they all have a say in deciding how to spend the premium. Fantastic. But what about all the nasty chemicals? Fair trade producers have to work to protect the environment, like using fewer chemicals. They also have to dispose of used bags and other waste safely, so they're not lying around causing harm. Well, that's all well and good, but what I don't understand is why the companies are prepared to pay a higher price and a fair trade premium as well. Because it means they can sell products with the fair trade mark on them, like me. And why would they want to do that? That's where consumers come in. Let's go shopping and I'll explain. Look, all the bananas in this supermarket are fair trade. How come? Well, more and more people are asking for fair trade, so supermarkets have to give their customers what they want. Huh, I suppose they have to pay more for them though. Not necessarily. Nowadays, they often cost the same or even less than non-fair trade ones. Really? So how do we know the producers are getting the fair trade price then? Ah, that's where the Fair Trade Foundation comes in. They have to certify that a product has met fair trade standards and can therefore carry the fair trade mark. So that's what they do. Do they do anything else? Yes, they also work with companies here to get them to sell more fair trade products like these. And these, these, and these. And importantly, they work with different communities to raise support for fair trade and to get people to buy more fair trade products. So, if more people choose fair trade, more companies will want to get involved in order to please their customers? Yes! It could change the whole system of trade for the better. I hadn't thought of it like that. So, how can we make sure this happens? Could all those children and young people out there be part of it? Yes! They can help tip the balance in favour of fair trade. And you can start by telling all your friends and family about fair trade and maybe even become a fair trade school. Then you'll be helping more of them come and join us. Mm -hmm.